Hello, Heather here. I thought that maybe I would do today's Heather's Happenings in a video format, like a vlog. So let me know how you like this. I'm going to go through the normal stuff I might write in my weekly journal entry uh, just here on film. So let's, uh, let's see how it is. First off, I wanted to talk about last week I asked your skills for sweater knitting and everybody gave me such good responses. I can't believe I had something like 400 answers uh, and the skills ranged from I've never knit a sweater and everything seems complicated about it all the way up to, I've knit so many, I knit them for everyone I know. And it was so neat to see that whole range um, in my community here. So uh, I have this, I've got these sweaters. This was my pop top. And like I said, I have designed the cardigan to go along with it. And these two sweaters kind of work in tandem with each other they're not that different they're knit from the top down um just one's back and forth and one is totally in the round so that new cardigan pattern is going to be coming soon i am just working up a test knit you know like knitting it again so i know it's all kind of good now do you want to see my test knit because i kind of just I went a little haywire with it. I'm going to pull it out of my knitting bag here and show it to you. <laughs> I'm on the sleeve. But you have to get a peek at this. Oh my goodness. Heather's gone wild. <laughs> so this is my pop top cardigan test knit. Sorry about the jingly needles. And here we have you can see it's like slightly cropped. It hits right at the top of my hip bone, but not too bad. And it's easy to extend and make longer. But what do you think of my uh, crazy color combo? I'm kind of digging it and I cannot wait to wear this thing like every day this fall and winter. Now I'm all wrapped up in yarn. So give me a second here. Anyway, pop top cardigan test knit coming soon and the tech editor has her hands on these so the cardigan will be a whole new pattern and the original pop top will be um we'll have a slight refresh because we wrote that pattern in 2018 i want to say so you know we're always trying to look at something and improve it and stuff like that so those will both be coming along uh, second order of business, if you are knitting the UU Celebration Blanket, you probably saw that I did a little quick stitch tutorial for the trellis square, rowing trellis. Um, I'll give a link to that. It's the previous video here on um, my YouTube channel, uh, but I'll be sure to link to it. So if you want to give that one a try, uh, go ahead. And then... Lastly is we have some new fun notions on the site. First off, we have a little progress keeper called the fix it marker. And you can see it's this cute little bandage <laughs> and there's a claw clip here for it. So the idea is that if you happen to see a mistake down in your knitting, you can just clip this on and like if there's a drop stitch this will hold it or if there is a um yeah if you just see there's a knit and not a pearl or whatever the case may be uh you can just snap this on there and go back and check it later or if you're really into band-aids you can just use it as a cute progress keeper if you're a school nurse or something like that <laughs> Uh, and then the other thing we have is this, I've kind of teased this a little bit on my Instagram if you watch on there, but this is a new tote bag from our friends at Billy and Ba too, and I am just obsessed with it. <laughs> it says, <clears throat> buy more yarn, 
buy more yarn, buy more yarn. Have a nice day. <laughs> so you can see this big giant tote. I love it. It's so cute. Look at how fun. And it's huge. Like, uh, I think you could probably fit half a yarn store in here or a definitely entire sweaters quantity of yarn. And it's got a nice big handle. So it like can really get over your shoulder, not like just some handbag. And then it just goes from being a big bag and just fold in the sides, roll it on up and, uh, yeah, you can take it, you can take it anywhere with you. And then you, whenever, whenever there is a yarn buying emergency, <laughs> you will be ready with your, oh, let me get this, with your buy more yarn tote. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a good day and yeah, thanks for coming along and checking out my first video blog let me know what you think in the comments and uh if you should if i should do more of these um let me know thanks have a good day bye